had to uh, redo the video on uh, how to use Parsec with Mugen to play with your buddies. Um, I forgot to talk about the approved apps section in the settings. Once you download Parsec and make an account and verify your email, you start up Parsec and uh, you can also start up your Mugen. Once you start Mugen, you can go into your Parsec settings and go to approve apps and whatever you see, whatever Parsec detects running at the time will likely show up here and you can, whoops. You can uh, check Mugen. That way, whoever connects to your computer will be able to have access to Mugen and be able to play with you. If, if you don't select anything here, the, your, the, whoever connects to your computer won't be able to see it. So make sure you have uh, Mugen highlighted. My settings for hosting, you have to have hosting enabled. Uh, you don't necessarily have to have my settings, but I'm just showing it anyway. Resolution is auto detect, bandwidth limit 50 megabytes because I have a lot of bandwidth. I have a gigabyte of uh, internet. Uh, exclusive input mode, I have it off. H.265, I have it on. If you have an old laptop or computer, this probably won't work out well for you. So if you have an old one, just keep that off uh, display I just have it on generic monitor echo canceling is on virtual gamepad type is Xbox 360 um, for client settings overlay is on window mode is full screen decoder mode is hardware renderer is direct 3d 11 vsync is off H.265 is on, decoded compatibility is off, immersive mode is both, Discord status is on. Okay, anyway, uh, once you have all that set up and you click where it says computers, I don't know if you can see my mouse cursor, but you click where it says computers and you should see your own computer. If you don't see it, press the reload button on the right hand side and um, you should see a share button. Once you click the share button, it will copy, generate and copy a link for you. And you can send your friend that link. And on your friend's Parsec, on the lower right hand side, you'll see a little tab. Uh, they can paste that link right there. And then when they hit join, they'll try to connect to your computer and you can choose whether you accept it or not. So once you accept it, they're actually connected to your computer and whatever uh, approved app that you had selected, they'll be able to see it. So now that they're connected to your computer, you can uh, restart Mugen. If it was already running, just close it and just restart it again. And you'll likely hear some sound effect as if somebody was plugging something into Windows. That means it detected their controller, their virtual controller. And um, you should be able to play without any problems after that. Choose whatever mode you want versus team versus team co-op. Whatever you want, whatever your Mugen has. And you should be able to play together. Just make sure that you go to your options and verify that the other player can set their buttons. In, in input config. Uh, you should go to joystick config. I don't have any controllers plugged up right now, but you would go to joystick config and see if both of you can set your buttons. Key config up at the top is if they're using a keyboard. So uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah. So everything should work fine provided your internet speed is, is decent and uh, you follow the instructions, you should be good to go. And that's that. Peace.